guys and welcome back to Renee GTV. Today we're going to do a very simple, um, very easy, really cute cake. This is going to be a racetrack cake and I saw this on Crumb Boss. Uh, so you can check that out if you'd like. What we're going to do is we're going to start out with a six inch cake and you can do this uh, any size that you want. You can even uh, make a rectangle if you'd like. But I have three layers and I have just crumb coated it and then iced it. And if you want to see how to do that, how to get it to this point, go search my channel on how to uh, crumb coat a cake, and you will find that video. Now, um, what we're going to need is we're going to need two, we need white icing, and we're going to need a black icing. And we're going to need a number 17 tip. I have a number 17 on both of these. It's a star tip. Um, you can use anything similar. And we're going to take our cake, and we've just split it into the three layers. I've just marked all the way around um, the three different uh, layers and then I did a line going straight down. We're just making squares. Okay, we're going to do a checkered flag pattern and <clears throat> once you have that ready to go, you're going to just take your white or your black, whatever color that you want to start with and uh, we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, we're just going to squeeze and pull away. And we're going to do little, we're going to do four, squeeze and pull away, four across. It's going to probably differ on what size cake you have and all of that. Okay. And uh, we're going to do that every other one all the way around the entire cake. And when I have all that done in white, I will bring you guys back and we'll start on the black. So we'll be right back. Let me show you all the way. Okay. And we're just going to do that every other one all the way around. Just give you a better angle. Some of you guys like to see the whole process. Um, some of you guys don't like to see the whole process. <laughs> so what I've decided is I'm going to just kind of hang in the middle, show you the majority of it, uh, but not necessarily all of it. And if it's an extra row of stars, it's fine. You won't be able to tell. So I'm going to go ahead and get this completed and then I'll bring you guys back. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll start in the black. Okay, guys, so the white's all done. Um, make sure that you end correctly, because if you don't, you're going to kind of be like me. And I have a very small space there, but it's okay. It's going to be the back of the cake. And this is just a demo to show you guys how to do it. So now I'm going to start the black. So I guess I'll do that real quickly. And um, I'll just, it's the same as the white, uh, but I'll show you. Here as we go, and you're just going to, same way, okay? You're going to squeeze, stop squeezing, pull away. Make sure that you anchor your icing to your cake and you're touching your cake. Um, otherwise, your icing isn't going to stick, okay? And See how it's coming together? It's really cute. I do love this pattern. Crumb Boss does some really cute stuff, I have to say. Alright, so see how that's coming in? It's looking really cute. I'll go ahead and do another square for you real quick. So, um, looks cute. So I'm going to bring you guys back uh, when I get this finished, and we'll be back. Guys, so it's done. Um, I did fix the back a little bit. 
that is the worst of it there and you really can't tell uh, so just make sure when you're planning out the cake you keep that in mind um, and double check it so now we're just going to decorate the top and uh, we're going to use black to do a track and we'll be right back okay guys so now we're going to take tip number 47 basket weave tip something similar in size um, we're going to take our black icing and we're going to do the flat edge up and we're just going to squeeze and we're going to basically turn our board it doesn't have to be perfect because mine certainly is not going to be but you just want to kind of squeeze on a track okay and you're just going to get it as close to a circle as you can And then once you've got it where you want it, we're going to take a spatula and we're going to smooth it out. Okay, this is a pretty small cake, so keep that in mind when you're planning what size cake you're going to do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my spatula. We're going to be right back and we're going to smooth out our road. We'll be right back. Alright guys, and then I just bit my spatula up a bit, and um, we're just going to smooth out our track. And you just want light pressure. Okay. And if you want to go around it one more time just to kind of make it even, you can. Um, we're going to come back and we're going to add some grass and we'll be right back. Guys, there's our track and now we're just going to take a grass tip and we're just going to basically squeeze and then pull up as we're still squeezing a bit and then just go all the way around your cake. These are really kit, uh, really cool cakes for um, for birthday parties for boys or even girls. Could do this for dad if he's into uh, cars or racing. Could do this for a NASCAR uh, theme. Really, the possibilities are endless on this one, and I just thought it was so cute and pretty easy. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So just keep going. And if your icing gets a bit soft and you would rather um, the grass stand up a bit, just place it in the fridge and come back. Um, so there's our grass around the outer ring. I'm going to go ahead and place my grass in the fridge, not my grass, but my icing in the fridge for a bit to firm up and we'll be back. Okay guys, and so now I'm just going to add some grass the center. What also would be cute is some white um, lifesavers or wintergreen lifesavers. 
kind of like half them and put them around. I think we're pretty much there. Um, now let's add some, uh, let's add a vehicle. We'll be back. Guys, so here is our finished cake. And now I'm just going to um, add our little bike. And uh, I have a little motorcycle we're going to use since he is going to be the winner. And you're just going to place that right down onto the cake. So there we have it. Um, you can print out some little flags and add those if you'd like as well. Um, or even some lines to the racetrack. Whatever you would like. And I think we have a finished cake here, guys. Uh, definitely give this one a thumbs up. And don't forget to share the video as well, guys. Appreciate all the great support and comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.